Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, the weekly roundup for all the top news stories of the week. The top news stories this week are A little over a year on the Karnataka government has already landed itself in a major existential crisis. Several rebel MLAs have opted out of the Congress JDS alliance. In the latest update, Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy declared that he would seek a trust vote on the floor of the House and ask the Speaker to fix the time. In preparation for the test of strength, ruling allies Congress and Janta Dal Secular and rival BJP have arranged to move their lawmakers to resorts to sequester them from poaching attempts. The Congress JDS coalition, which has been struggling to keep its flock intact since it came to power in May last year, is facing collapse after 18 resignations over the last one week have happened. If the resignations are accepted, the ruling coalition will slip below the halfway mark and rival BJP will have a clear majority. The descendants have been staying at a five-star hotel in Mumbai. Congress troubleshooter DK Shivakumar tried to meet them in Mumbai but was stopped by the Mumbai police. Earlier, the rebel MLAs had written to the police that they felt threatened by the leader. Following the drama, Section 144 was imposed in Pawai, the location of the hotel, and Shivakumar was sent back to Bengaluru. Chandrayaan-2, India's second moon mission, is set to be launched on July 15th at 2.51 a.m. The Chandrayaan-2 mission will help India and the world to broaden the horizon of human knowledge. Chandrayaan-2 mission will explore the dark side of the moon after it lands on the cosmic body's south polar region. It will be launched on board a GSLV Mark III rocket. Chandrayaan-2 is an advanced version of the previous Chandrayaan-1 mission, which was launched about 10 years ago. Terror group Al-Qaeda's chief had told Mujahideen in Kashmir to inflict unrelenting blows on the Indian Army and the government in Jammu and Kashmir in a message released by the outfit's media wing as per the Foundation of Defence Democracies, a long war journal. He also brought to light Pakistan's involvement in fueling cross-border terrorism in Kashmir in the message titled, Don't Forget Kashmir, released by Ash Shabab. In a befitting reply, the Indian government downplayed the threat, saying that such threats are a regular occurrence and they should not be taken seriously. We are used to such sort of threats. I don't think we should be taking any of them seriously, MEA spokesperson Ravish Kumar said in a briefing. Kangana Ranaut landed herself in another controversy during the song launch event of her upcoming film, Judgmental Hekya, when she got into a heated argument with a journalist on Sunday. The actress bashed and accused the journalist of writing negative comments about her film Mani Karnika. It all started when the journalist introduced himself to ask a question and the next moment Kangana fired him by saying, Tum to hamare dushman ban gaye ho. Kitni zyada gandhi gandhi baate karte ho. Itna ganda sochte kaise ho. The journalist answered back by saying, I only write the truth. I don't think it is fair to say that. The Entertainment Journalist Guild of India on Tuesday decided to boycott actress Kangana Ranaut and wrote an open letter addressed to the producer Ekta Kapoor asking for an apology from Kangana. Kapoor, whose Balaji Motion Pictures is producing Ranaut's upcoming film Judgmental Hekya, expressed regret over the incident. Kangana, however, has refused to apologize. She issued a video where she has lambasted the press and said she will not apologize for what she considers correct on her part. New Zealand ended India's campaign at the Cricket World Cup 2019 as they beat the men in blue by 18 runs in the first semi-final at Old Trafford. Chasing a moderate target of 240 runs, India got off to a horrendous start as New Zealand rattled the top order. While the middle order tried hard to chase the target, the Kiwis' consistent bowling attack bowled out India on 221 runs. Meanwhile, in the second semi-final, England defeated the defending champions, Australia, to reach the finals. And now watch the viral video of the week. Hope you like this edition of Your World This Week. We will be back next week with yet another episode of Your World This Week. Have a good day.